Hey friends, we're back. Today, I'm joined by my friend, Ariel Mermaid. And you know, I got to thinking about Ariel yesterday because I was talking to this friend of mine on the phone and I said, hey, how you doing? With these times we're living in, how you doing? Sticking close to home? And she said, well, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of living in two worlds. I said, wow, that's an interesting way to think about it. Tell me more about that. And she said, well, there's like the way things were before we all had to start sticking close to the house. And I've got responsibilities there, like things I need to do for my coursework. She's a college student. And uh, things I've got to keep track of, bills I've got to pay, that sort of thing. And then there's this world I'm living in now where it's basically me, home alone, with my computer, uh, trying to find ways to, uh, to reach out. So it's strange, because it's like living in two worlds. Well, of course, that made me think of Ariel, who is a mermaid, because mermen and merwomen and merboys and mergirls and all these lovely stories live in two worlds. Sometimes they're under the water, and sometimes they're up in the world above. So I said to Ariel, hey, Ariel, tell me something about living in this two worlds thing. Is it hard? And she said, oh, yeah, sometimes it's hard, but it's interesting. I said, what is something you can help us with as a mer person who lives in two worlds with the situation that we're in right now? And she said, bubble breathe. Bubble breathe, I said. Tell me more about that. She said, when I'm below the surface and swimming around in the water, I blow bubbles. Then, when I come up to the surface and breathe the air, I take a bubble wand with me and I blow bubbles up there in the air. And both ways, it makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel energized, and it's something I can do in both my worlds. I said, hey, you think we could show our friends how to bubble breathe? She said, sure. So today, friends, we're going to do a little bubble breathing. All you have to do is just inhale through your nose, and then when you exhale through your lips, it's as though you're blowing bubbles. I bet you've blown bubbles with a bubble wand before, right? Well, we're going to exhale like that today. And I even brought my bubble wand to help us practice. My wand has four openings on it. And so, we're going to exhale on the count of four. Let's do several of those. Ready? Are you ready, Ariel? Yeah? You ready? Okay. And let's just inhale through our nose. And... Wow. Let's try a couple more. And inhale. refreshing. The next time I'm feeling stuck, I'm going to remember to bubble breathe, inhale through my nose, and exhale short puffs through my lips. That's a really, really energetic feeling. Thanks a lot, Ariel. I appreciate you joining us today and helping us with bubble breaths. Would you like to wave goodbye to our friends? You're what? Bye, friends. We'll see you again soon.